Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the chicken parmigiano over here, a version made with burrata, and this one is made with buffalo mozzarella. Which one is going to be the winner? This is a dish Italians don't eat, Italians don't make, but it's so popular around the world and I had to try, I had to try and make it. So let's see how this dish is going to turn out. Super creamy, super cheesy. Hi, and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to make Italian recipes. Now, this is an Italian American dish. Australians believe it's a pub, Australian pub dish. Uh, English believe the same. Who knows where it's from? All I can say is the chicken parmigiana is found in Italian restaurants around the world. And that's a fake, okay? It makes me upset when I see the shredded mozzarella on top. It's like a nightmare for me. This is made how an Italian would make it. And if you have to pay $30 for this, then this is how you make it. First, we need chicken breast, a nice piece of chicken breast, which we're going to slice into about three or four slices depends how big your chicken breast is then we need seven tablespoons a full tablespoons of breadcrumbs three full tablespoons of pecorino a nice amount of flour then we are gonna use mozzarella di bufala buffalo mozzarella for the top and burrata cheese i'm gonna do two versions let's see which one is best burrata or buffalo mozzarella then we need to use one egg and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some lemon juice to cover the smell of the egg. A little bit of parsley for decoration. We make the sauce with some garlic, basil, extra virgin olive oil, and a beautiful homemade passata, tomato sauce. Salt and pepper, and then we need sunflower oil to fry our chicken. Now we get baking paper, and we're going to place the chicken breast, put it here. We are going to cover of them and with a mallet here we are going to squash it we want to make this as thin as possible okay not only we do this because we want to cook it faster you know it's fried but also it's 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 nicer when you eat it what kind of it is hmm? this is going to be nice and filling for two people it's more than enough Now the meat is gonna rest a little bit. In the meantime, we're making the garlic tomato sauce. So we need about three or four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on a medium low heat. Then we get two garlic cloves. I think two is more than enough. And we're going to, you know, smash them in the sauce. We're going to mince them. And here it is. I think the crushed garlic tastes so much nicer because all the flavors come out and there is an explosion of happiness in there. See, after about 30 seconds, we get all these beautiful flavors of the garlic coming out of this pot. We don't want to burn the garlic, okay? So now we're going to add the homemade passata, or you can get passata from the shop. Make sure you use a nice one. And stir. Okay, I've chosen a garlic sauce because not only it's quick, but I think the garlic sauce will give a nice flavor to the chicken. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna add some beautiful basil, which I'm going to break with my hands. Do not cut the basil. Never cut the basil or the flavors of the basil will stay on the chopping board. Okay, do it by hand. And what we do now, we're gently going to cook this on a medium low heat for about 20 minutes. You don't need more than that. 20, 30 minutes and it is ready. Quick stir. Okay, now we cover and see you in about 20 minutes. Make sure it's on a medium low heat. Gentle. Now in the meantime, the sauce is cooking and we need to crumb our beautiful meat and cook it. Okay, so we get one egg. You can also use two eggs if you feel safer, but I think one egg is, is enough. Now in the egg, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice 
because the lemon juice will cover the, the, the smell of the egg and mix. Okay, and now we are ready to add the chicken in this egg mix. Another step is to mix the pecorino, the breadcrumb, and just a little bit of parsley, okay? Not too much. So let's mix everything together. The importance of the pecorino here, it's, it's absolutely important. One of the most important ingredients. It's gonna give the flavor, the amazing flavor of the crust, which is half of this dish, you know? Okay, guys, this is how it goes, okay? So we start from here, we get the chicken slice, we put it in the flour, okay? Make sure you put the flour on both sides, on each corner, okay? From there, from the flour, remove the excess flour. We are gonna put it inside the egg, eggs mix. And again, on both sides, each edge, put, make sure the egg goes everywhere. Now, remove it from the egg and get rid of the excess egg. And you put it in the breadcrumbs and pecorino mix, both sides, make sure the mix goes everywhere, okay? Take your time to do it. Remove it from this mix, and we're gonna put it in a sunflower oil and fry it until it becomes golden brown. It should take about three minutes. So we get the first slice, put it in there. And then we go in the egg. And make sure the egg goes everywhere. Okay, here we go. And then we put it in the bread. Make sure the bread crumb goes everywhere. You want both sides to be covered by the breadcrumbs and the pecorino. It is important that you make sure the egg is on top, otherwise the pecorino and the breadcrumb won't get stuck. Now, this is the time to fry the chicken. What we do is we get some breadcrumbs and we test the oil. See, it's ready to fry, okay? So let's get the chicken and let's fry it. Now, what I like to do with my chicken is I leave it on one side here, okay? And I wait about one minute and a half before I check the bottom, okay? Just leave it in there and let the oil do the job, okay? All right, so after one minute and a half, let's check the bottom. Yeah, looks like it can be turned. Look how beautiful it is. Nice. Beautiful. And here it is, our first chicken is done. Ladies and gentlemen, first chicken parmigiana. All right, on a plate, put some uh, kitchen paper. And what we do, we're going to rest the meat here, okay? Beautiful crunchy meat is gonna rest here for a few minutes. So we absorb all the e extra oil that we don't want. Ah, guys, after 20 minutes, this garlic and basil sauce Smells fantastic. Ooh, strong flavors of garlic. This is perfect for the chicken parmigiana, let me tell you. Oh, hello, hello. Guys, if you have leftover breadcrumbs and pe pecorino mix, what you can do with this, you can make a yummy pasta. Check out my video, how to make the Sicilian pasta camudica. You will love it. Now the first one we're going to make will be done with the buffalo mozzarella, okay? And the second one will be made with the burrata cheese. So what we wanna do first is we wanna put the sauce in the center of the plate and just be generous with the sauce, okay? So that's gonna be the bottom part. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to place the chicken right on top of the sauce, okay? We are going to put a little bit more sauce here just like that and spread it everywhere. Just like this. And now we're gonna put a buffalo mozzarella, like if we are making a pizza. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful buffalo mozzarella everywhere. I don't want you to use shredded mozzarella ever again, okay? This is the only way for you to make the parmigiana. Buffalo mozzarella and just put everything on top. Yeah, just a mountain. Remove the excess milk that came out of the buffalo. I mean, that's a good sign, right? We have the milk in there. A little sprinkle of parsley on top. Now we're going to place this plate under a broiler, a grill, until the cheese melts. But we don't want to burn the cheese. We just want the cheese to melt enough for us to enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now let's make the burrata version, okay? So let's put the sauce at the bottom and be generous with the sauce at the bottom. You wanna be generous. Look at this beautiful sauce. We're going to place the meat right on top of the sauce. And again, more sauce on top. Spread it everywhere. And now the most important part, the burrata cheese. Look how creamy it is. See, I let it rest for about half an hour and now it's super, super creamy. What we do is, I'm going to place it right on top like this and I want this to melt. So what happens is when we're going to eat it, we have the cheese coming out. So we're going to bake it just the way it is with a little sprinkle of parsley. Just going to bake it just the way it is. It looks like a egg, but trust me, <laughs> it's a cheesy burrata. Okay, guys, so the burrata is not really going to melt, but it's going to ex expand more, and the cream inside will be creamier. So this is it. What we have to do now is cut it and see what surprise this baby has for us. Oh guys, look, it's time to cut the burrata now. Let's cut this beautiful cheese and let's see what comes out. This is the creamy burrata. This is what you get on top. Look at this, look at this baby. This is gonna give you an explosion of happiness, an explosion of cheesy happiness into your mouth. Look at this. Now, please don't tell me you will have a order parmigiana from the pub and get a burnt cheese. This is the only way to have parmigiana. And I can already tell the burrata is the way to go. Look how beautiful and creamy this is. Look how fantastic this is. All right, the best time of the recipe. Let's cut it and let's see how this chicken parmigiana with burrata is. Mmm. I like the tomato sauce. I like the burrata on top. Now it's time to eat it. Mmm, I know what's gonna happen to my mouth right now. Mmm, mmm. The chicken cooked to perfection. The sauce with those beautiful garlic and basil flavors. The super creamy burrata is the only way, the best way mm. to enjoy a chicken parmigiana. Italians can eat this. Let me tell you, it's delicious. It's really yummy if it's done the right way. And this is how I want you to have your chicken parmigiana from now on. This dish has been so popular around the world for so long and you guys have been eating it the wrong way. I feel sorry for you. Mmm. This is my first time. I love it. And it will get better and better, let me tell you. The more I make it, the better it will get. Mmm. Yum. Let's try the mozzarella version, the buffalo mozzarella. It's nice. Mmm. It's like a lasagna on top. Mmm, look at that. Oh yeah, look at this baby. Look at this beauty over here. Look at this beauty, look at that. Meat cooked perfection, the cheese is stuck on top. It's not as creamy as the burrata, but it's gonna be nice. Mm. Ready? Mm. Mm. Wow, I can't believe I never had this before. All I had to do was to change the cheese, to make a nice sauce to go with it, and to cram the meat the right way, the way it should be done. No pecorino, no party. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is the only way, the only way. I have to say, I really enjoyed this dish. I can't believe I never eaten it in my life, but I cannot eat it with shredded mozzarella or the way you guys do it in the pub or in the fake Italian restaurant. This way, done this way, it's sensational. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. We're learning something together all the time. And what can I say? I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate.